Welcome back YouTube. Today we're going to walk through how to get a toned stomach midsection. For one, someone if you are holding a decent amount of body fat. Or two, if you're someone who isn't holding a decent amount of body fat but still struggling to get that toned stomach or midsection. If you do find the video helpful, please do drop a like. If you have any questions for out from down below, I'll get back to you. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe as it helps me out a ton. Okay, the first thing we need to understand when it comes to dropping body fat around the midsection, around the stomach, is this. It is no different from anywhere else on our body. And by that I mean the way in which we drop body fat does not change. However, what you typically see with stomach fat, fat around the midsection, is that it can be one of the last areas to noticeably get leaner. So we can see other areas of our body get leaner visually. Let's say, I'll notice our arms, notice our legs, notice our back. And we can still think to ourselves, or still visually not really notice too much changes or not enough change to what we want in our midsection. So we need to understand this because this essentially gives us the foundations for what we need to do to get that toned midsection, that toned stomach. And they are two things. Number one, we have to be in a calorie deficit. So this goes back to dropping stomach fat is no different to dropping body fat anywhere else around the body. To drop body fat, you have to be in a calorie deficit, taking in less food than you are expending. It does not change. You can't spot reduce body fat. So doing more ab exercises isn't going to help. Okay, Doing more HIIT training isn't going to help directly drop body fat from your stomach. Eating certain th foods isn't going to directly help. You need to simply be in a calorie deficit and then to point number two, be patient enough to remain there. So like I said, because it might be very well likely might be one of the last areas to visually get to where you want to be and therefore, you know, you have to be relatively lean to see it. You have to be patient consistently being in a calorie deficit over time to get to that level of leanness that you want. And this is something that you have to then truly understand and be aware of when it comes to getting a toned midsection, if that's vis visible abs, whatever it might be, is that to get to that stage, you have to be relatively lean. Okay, getting there, getting to that level of leanness, one, is difficult because it takes time and patience of being in a calorie deficit over time. But then two, sustaining that and maintaining that level of leanness is also very difficult. And a lot of people don't actually understand and realize how difficult, how committed, you know, you have to then, it can be and, and, and you have to be, to actually one, get there and two, sustain it. So that is something that we have to understand, you have to realize, okay? Now, so that's if, if you're holding a lot of body fat, that's what you need to do. You need to drop body fat to get there. Secondly, if you're someone who's already quite lean and you still can't, you know, visibly see abs or, you know, you haven't got that stomach fat where you want it to be, like I've just spoken about, you know, you probably just most likely still have to get leaner, right? You still have to get leaner. Like I said, it's hard to get to that level of leanness and it's hard to sustain that level of leanness. So you might just have to simply keep dropping body fat, keep being in a calorie deficit to get to that point. But quite often, if you're an individual who might turn themselves skinny fat, right? Where, you know, you're someone who is holding some body fat, but is still relatively lean, if that makes sense. Or you're a certain level of weight that you wouldn't really be comfortable going past. You then have another option of something that you can do if you're wanting to change the way you look, you know, you're wanting to visually, visually be more toned in certain areas, and this is going for all areas of your body. You have another route that you can take, which is just going to require as much hard work, as much commitment, if not a little bit longer, to get this visual look that you're after. And that is going through a phase of where you're actually attempting to build some muscle mass before then cutting back and getting leaner to visually see those changes. Okay, so what do I mean by this? So everyone has the same muscles, right? In terms of you have abs, 
And if you're lean enough, you'll see abs. Okay, this is the same for, for your pecs, your chest, for your biceps, your triceps. Everyone has them. And if you can't see them, chances are you're just not lean enough. However, when a muscle becomes more developed, okay, let's say you grow that muscle more and more and more, chances then are you're going to see that muscle at, let's say, slightly higher percentage of body fat, okay? So let's say you've trained um, for five, six, seven years, okay? And you've actually gone about adding a decent amount of muscle mass. For the same level of body fat you once were when you were, let's say, skinny fat, now that you've added more muscle mass, chances are you're actually going to see that definition, right? And you're going to see that muscle much more easily, even though you're holding the same amount of body fat, if that makes sense. Okay, you're going to see the outline, you're going to see that shape. And this is almost similar for your abs. It's the same, it's a muscle, it works the same way. If your abs are more developed, chances are you're probably going to see them, you know, slightly more, even with that similar level of body fat. Now, don't get me wrong, you're still going to need to get relatively lean, you know, to see them, let's say, well, or as much as you'd like. But... The more developed the muscle is, chances are the more you're going to see it a little bit earlier on. So if you're already relatively, you know, let's say lower in body fat or you think you are, or at least lower in weight, and you don't really like the idea of dropping more weight, getting leaner, but you do want to see more shape, more, let's call it tonage. A lot of people like to use the word toning. Then your answer might be, that you have to commit to actually building a little bit more muscle within this area that you're trying to see, that you want to be more defined, toned. Building more muscle around that area before then reaching a level of leanness or going back to reaching a level of leanness that you're going to see that muscle. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? So number one, see a muscle, see it visually, to be toned. You're gonna to need to make sure you're the right level of leanness, which means dropping body fat. But two, you might also find yourself having to develop, build muscle within that area, maybe a little bit more if you find yourself in that scenario. Again, everyone's different. Everyone's going to have their own challenges, their own goals, their own process. So you might find that you can just drop body fat and get to where you want to be. But you also might find that you're actually to go through stages of adding a bit of muscle mass, depending on where you want to be. Again, if you did find this video helpful, please drop a like. If you have any questions throughout, down below and if you haven't already please do subscribe because it'll help me out a lot catch you on the next one